Hello, welcome in this ERP SAP tutorial. Today's our discussion topic is how to change any purchase requisition PR. How to change any purchase requisition in SAP. So we will discuss in very detail. Okay. So how you can see? We will say step by step. Okay. <coughs> So, for the purchase uh, requisition creation, we have transaction code ME51 for creation, ME52 for change, and ME53N for display, and ME54N for. Uh, okay, so we are going to logistic in the material management in purchasing in. Uh, Again, go go in uh, logistic. In uh, I'm just going to in for SAP menu path. Go in the logistic. Go in the material management. Go in the purchasing. Go in the purchase order. And here there is a purchase requisition. See, this is the options. Purchase requisition, creation, change, display. And for release we have uh, transaction code ME fifty four and. And collective release, we have ME55 and ME5F for two. So this <coughs> purchase requisition is already released, as we have seen. So we have displayed our purchase requisition. Okay. <coughs> Hope you understand. <coughs> so this is our uh, purchase requisition we have created for the vehicle hiring services. Okay. So, if I just want to do any changes, then open the purchase requisition uh, in competent authority login who has ME54 and authorization. Okay. <coughs> Means PR R2 change authorization he or she should have, and we have to create the R2 cancel and R1 cancel. Then we need to click on save button. Okay. Once we click on the save button, our purchase requisition is successfully changes. <coughs> okay. Now you can open this purchase requisition using For the change of purchase requisition, you can directly go to ME52N or go in the purchasing, go in the purchase requisition and click on this ME52N. Okay, ME52N is always used for change. See, our purchase or uh, requisition is in initial stage. So, <coughs> go in the uh, services. And uh, for example, I just want to change the quantity, change the grass price and all, change the GL account. So you need to change here. For example, the quantity is 2, grass price is changes from 10 to 5. Then we have change the grass price and click on the save. Okay. And once we click on the save, then subsequently we have to release for further creation of the purchase order via purchase requisition. Okay. Hope you understand this theory uh, in SAP. Okay. So, the, this is the services tab. This is the account assignment tab where you need to mention your gen, uh, generalizer account or cost element where the cost is going to book. Hope you understand. Okay. This purchase requisition we have created against cost center. Okay. Again, send this purchase requisition to competent authority via workflow or just initiate by yourself and uh, uh, release via competent authority login using ME54N. This is individual release login. 
initiator and competent authority. Fine. And once you save, then purchase equation has been successfully changes. Hope you understand. Okay. <coughs> you can also click on the display and uh, see the beauty of this SAP. You can change anything before approval or you can release the approval process see initially the price was 10 now we have successfully changed the price 10 even after approval from the competent authority purchase we have first cancelled the approval flag r1 and r2 then we go in the change mode successfully change the price using me52n then again approve this via the same process okay so this is the way <coughs> how you can change these things in purchase equation frequently we are get we have facing the issue that we have created the purchase equation but the cost element is mentioned wrong and quantities change price change so different different uh, issues will arise after the creation of the purchase requisition. Okay, so you should uh, always remember that M E fifty one N is for creation, fifty two N for change, fifty three N for display, and 54 N for individual release. This M E is initially suffix up there. So this is the uh, if you know all these things, then you should understand. Okay, if you have created the purchase uh, requisition via maintenance order, then first you unrelease this purchase requisition, then go in the maintenance order. And changes you should done in the operation tab, okay? Because at, in that case, PR is automatically generated once you release the maintenance order. So at that time, you should go there for any changes in the maintenance order. Once you change the maintenance order, PR will automatically update it, and you can release the purchase requisition, and then you can use. Okay? So this is the beauty of SAP system, the things are correlated with each other. So you should understand each and everything very carefully and very conceptually. Okay. So see, and if you don't know any transaction code, go in SAP menu path. Everything is available here. Everything is available here. Hope you understand. Okay. So thanks for watching this SAP tutorial. If you are new in our YouTube tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for latest SAP video updates. This is purely for training and understanding purpose. Okay. Please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends. Okay. And if you have any query in your mind, please mention in the comment section or reach us at ERP SAP team one at the gmail.com. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next video updates.